YouTube. Matt's videos coming at you with Chat with Matt episode 22. Episode 22. It feels like I'm at episode 23, okay? Okay, first things first, I want to show. Okay, Caleb did watch my Planes, Fire, and Rescue. Uh, Planes, Fire, and Rescue rant. Because I hate that movie. Of course he hates it more than me because of... He gives the movie 0 out of 5. Like, who did not see that coming? Alright. But still, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that he's not an opinion judger. He's not an opinion judger. Alright. Yeah. Um, I bet, um, my friend Marmar72 might like him. I mean, I mean, I mean, we used to fight a lot, you know, in my movie. Okay, but then, you know, we become friends now, you know. Sometimes we go to the movies. We only saw one movie, and that is Ouija, which... I would recommend to you, but I saw a lot of people hating on it. But, you know, for us, we liked the movie. We, we enjoyed the movie. Even my dad, right? So, yeah. Uh, mainly for Netflix. Let me see what I got for my Netflix. Tomorrow, I'm going to get a movie called Let the Right One In. A Swedish horror movie. And then Let Me In, which is a... Which is a remake a two from two years. Directed by Matt Reeves. Starring Cody Smith and McPhee from, from Paranorman. And Chloe Grace Moretz from Die of Wimpy Kid the Movie. The Clary remake. No, no. Little, like, Carrie remake. And Kick-Ass 1 and 2. Alright. Alright. Remake from two years after. Let the right one in. They don't remake of this, of the movies, because, uh, because of, you know, of it being foreign, so they made Let Me In, which is two minutes longer than it, than Let the Right One In. I would watch the movie around, because it's available to stream on Netflix, but I want to see what it looks like on Blu-ray. Alright. Alright. So yeah, also I'm gonna get another move. Um, I expect movie re reviews for both those movies tomorrow. Also, I'm gonna get a movie called Space Box, Space Balls. Sorry, Space Balls, which is a real pain for me because I had that in 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 my queue for for a whole for like two months now and. And freaking Netflix still hasn't sent me it, alright? But I can wait, I'm not in any hurry. And then I got a movie called The Wicker Man and The Wicker Man Remake. I don't want to get The Wicker Man Remake before the original. The original is also going to be a very long wait. Because I want to watch the original before the remake. Mainly, I'm going to watch the remake just so I can see how bad it is. And so I can see that scene. Not the bees! Not the bees! Oh no, not the bees! But that's only in the unrated version, so I'm going to get the unrated version. Also, um, I'm also going to get, after I watch Let Me In and Let the Right One In. Or Let the Right One In and Let Me In. I'm also going to get two anime movies. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of anime. You know, I think anime is alright. But, since I watch these two anime movies, not only that, and a couple of other anime movies, I think I'll just stick with the Disney anime movies. Yes, it's the movies I'm talking about are by Disney. I'm going to get uh, Ponyo and The Secret World of Arietti. I watched other two movies called Spirited Away, which is a really good movie, and a Kiki's Delivery Service, which is also a really good movie. First, let me talk about Ponyo, and oh my god, let me just say, that is a really good movie, okay? That was a really good movie, okay? I've seen the movie before, 
I wanted to rent it from Netflix because I wanted to watch the movie again. And when I get the movie, I will review it, okay, after I watch the movie, okay, again. Also, Secret World of Arietti. I remember watching that movie after the Halloween of 2012 when I was done trick-or-treating, okay? I went to my dad's house and we saw Secret World of Arietti and he was thinking, hey, why don't we watch this movie? It looks pretty good. But let me just say, that that is just a really good movie, okay? Alright. So yeah, that covers that. Alright. Am I going... So, movies that are coming out. Am I going to see The Hunger Games Mockingjay? Yes. Yes, I am. Now, you're probably going to be like, Oh, ha, 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 ha. You like The Hunger Games. Alright. But, yes, I like the Hunger Games. I actually think that's very action-packed and pretty disturbing, okay? I saw the second one in the theaters, Catching Fire, which I did not find boring at all. It's, for me, for my opinion, personally... Sorry, I just want to, This isn't... Okay. For my opinion, personally, I think that the Hunger Games is very underrated, okay? I enjoy it a lot better than... Ugh. Twilight. Because pretty much Twilight sucks. Way too overrated. Fans, keep liking Twilight, okay? I'm not gonna hurt you, okay? You can you can like Twilight if you want to. If you're a Twilight fan, okay, I can understand, alright? Heck, some people are gonna be Twilight fans, but... I don't think I'm gonna do After I Saw on this because I don't want to be made fun of. Okay, because I don't want, um, but yeah. Some people are going to call me a big baby, but yeah. But yeah, I do like the Hunger Games, okay. Since I just mentioned it right now, maybe I will do after I saw it. Maybe, maybe I will, maybe I won't. <sighs> okay, as, okay, yesterday I saw, I watched the newest episode of Simpsons. I'm gonna call Nelson Smelson right now, okay? Really, because they just did Smelson, and yeah. And then, you know, Nelson does give me your lunch money at Millhouse. As long as that teacher stole the money away from Nelson, then I have no problem with that. It's the freaking ending that took me out of the episode. The freaking ending! That took me out of the episode. Where Marge is, you know, uh, hallucinating, and then you got these, you got these creepy things, and you got Millhouse, his nose gets all big, and then he flies up in the air, then you have a stupid meteor of Nelson pops Millhouse's nose, and he falls, and he goes, and he goes to a stupid as always, okay? Oh yeah, one more thing. Re remember in my Why I Hate Nelson Months video? Remember? Here's what I meant to say. First off, this is what I said. Seriously, I don't think Ha Ha is stupid at all. Mm. That just gets me mad. I don't think ha ha is stupid at all. That gets me mad, okay? What I really meant to say was Seriously, I don't think ha ha is funny stupid at all. I think it's just dumb. Cause Oh yeah. I remember in my uh chat with Matt episode uh Um, sorry. Episode thirteen video. Remember, remember when I showed the RoboCop, my copy of RoboCop. Remember when I said, first off, I got the RoboCop remake. I hate the remake. Okay. What I really meant to say was, first off. Like the RoboCop. 
And there you go. Now all of you understand. Alright. Ah, uh, let me see. What else? Oh yeah, I really like the Marmar 72's video. Uh, uh, why I became on YouTube. I liked how he dedicated it to Millsy 1974. Which, I really want to meet in Millsy 1974. He looks like he could be a really good YouTuber. Alright. And I really, um... Uh... Because, yeah, he's a really good YouTuber. Not an opinion judger. Okay. And he likes Jack and Jill, which is fine. I have no problem with him liking Jack and Jill at all. Alright, and which apparently me, me and Marmar72 ranted on that movie. If you want to look back to one of my videos, you'll see Jack ranting on Jack and Jill with Marmar72. Even, even though Marmar72 hasn't seen the movie, which I 100. No, 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 not 195% sure that he's going to hate the movie. Okay, well, I guess that's it for Jack with Matt, episode 22. See you guys later. Word out.